afternoon. Welcome. It's great to be back at CES and so great to see all of you here in Vegas and for all of you who are joining us on the webcast. Are you ready for a good week? So let's talk about our next console. The most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor. This is the new Mac Pro. For a big upgrade in graphics performance, the Mac Pro can be configured with AMD's Radeon Pro Vega 2. This is, quite simply, the world's most powerful graphics card. This is Surface Laptop 3. The team has been working with AMD for quite some time to build you a custom experience. I'd like to introduce to you the AMD Ryzen Microsoft Surface Edition processor. We co-engineered this entire platform alongside AMD. It is incredible. I just couldn't stop thinking maybe there was a different path. Maybe there was a, a hardware that could be made where it would be more natural to make the games. Ultimately, it's all about having the best games on the platform. So if you think about how much technology you needed to allow 4K and 5K to get out there. One of the big themes of this show is 8K. And when does 8K become real? And how do you really have the ability to create the content for that? And you're going to see some amazing technology for content creators today. And then AMD FreeSync Premium, which designates support for um, high refresh monitors at 120 hertz and higher and also support for LFC, low frame rate compensation. And then finally, we have the AMD Premium Pro. This adds HDR support with twice the perceived color volume and depth of SDR. And today, we are excited to welcome the newest member to the 5000 series. Please help me welcome the Radeon RX 5600 XT. The Radeon RX 5600 XT is the ultimate 1080p gaming card. It's built on RDNA, has 36 compute units, a, ba a game clock of 1375 megahertz, and a boost clock of 1560 megahertz. It's configured with six gigs of GDDR6. As you can see, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the 5600 is winning by 10%. In Division 2, we're winning by 15%, and Gears of War 5 is just as strong to welcome it to the 5000 series. In all the modern titles, we have the brand new 5600. The 5600 will be available January 21st for $279 worldwide at all of your favorite retail and e-tail sites. We introduced our third gen Ryzen as well as our Ryzen Threadripper parts. Just take a look at the data just for a second here. If you start at the bottom of the chart, that's our competition's best. That's what they're offering in the mainstream desktop market today. And then when you go to the third generation Threadripper and you see what we do with the 24 core and the 32 core device, there's just simply no competition. to announce today the third gen Ryzen Threadripper 64 core processor, our 3990X, the very first 64 core processor in the mainstream, in the desktop form factor. 64 cores, 128 threads, up to 4.3 gigahertz boost, 288 megabytes of cache, all for 3990, which is exactly what you would expect. I actually need three screens to show you what you can do here is that the Threadripper 3990X is much faster. You complete the render in an hour and three minutes, and that means an hour and 30 minutes. So if you are a content creator who's trying to push the envelope, 
you will save 30 minutes on a render like this. 3990X on shelf February 7th, so just a few weeks away. The third generation AMD Ryzen 4000 mobile processors. You know I love showing off chips. So this is the very first seven nanometer x86 mobile processor. And what you see is it has eight Zen 2 cores, 16 threads. It goes up to 4.2 gigahertz. It has eight Radeon cores, is higher on single threaded performance. It is 90% higher on multi-threaded performance. You can see that computing power really comes to life. And what you can see is more than double the power efficiency. So the performance per watt compared to our previous generation. Desktop caliber performance for gamers and creators in a notebook processor. Eight cores, 16 threads, a higher base clock speed than the 4800U that Lisa spoke to you about. And what you'll see is there's a performance delta of about 26%. You've got to more than double the TDP to do so. Even faster performance than a desktop processor. And it's doing it at 45 watts. So this is the brand new Asus Zephyrus G14 notebook. But probably my favorite feature about this product is what you'll see on the back side. They even have the ability for it to respond to music that's playing on the notebook. 10% performance improvement when you turn on SmartShift. Now the key thing to remember about this technology is it's basically free. You don't have to increase the form factor of the notebook. You don't have to give it more thermal capacity. It's turned on and you get the 10% performance improvement in the same form factor as a notebook that doesn't have it enabled and that isn't gonna be getting the performance benefits.